I think it's a dream. I was right. It's a dream. But that was like a replay. Are you okay? That's Wally. Sorry, kid. Cappuccino stand, what do you think? That's cool. HR, I think Caitlin's gonna have plenty to do, as it is. Can I ask you a question? Do you want to eat pizza pockets for every meal for the rest of your life? You don't. Nobody wants that. What you want is an income, and we collectively need a cover for Star Labs for our continued operation. Uh, you make some good points. Yeah, that's now, true. Now, for the pièce de résistance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, did you make a hologram of me? No, Frank tell you, you made it perfectly clear you didn't want to be a tour guide. You're not. You're a virtual tour guide. Guess, I guess it's a little late for that now. Uh, guess again. Nice. Oh. That's in the young guess. That's in the game. Barry, behind you. Ooh! Oh, he's smoking. That's cool. It's like, look at that. He's chasing after him. I can't shake these things, Cisco. Shake faster. Huh? He needs space. Oh, face in the wall. Oh. oh, that's cool. He's walking away. Yeah, 
has changed since then. You lose, Barry. Blender, my man. Where do you think you're going? Right through you. Oh! Jocelyn, what do you think about this episode? For me, I thought it was a really good episode. It's nice to see where they picked up from the show. It looks like there wasn't that much excitement, but just kind of settling down from the holidays and just settling into their new place. Um, Barry, he's definitely been having some dreams about those episodes with Savitar. And I'm just thinking just in general, wouldn't Barry experience some sort of PTSD from all the stuff that he experiences. I just would think, I'm just thinking Barry would just have a problem with sleep, period. I mean, how do you get a good night's sleep from all that? Okay, so Caitlin blindsided the team by asking Julian to be part of Team Flesh. Uh, I don't know if that, I actually didn't think that was a good idea because I'm thinking he's probably gonna end up becoming repossessed by Savitar and now you get someone working on the inside so I would have nixed that idea that wasn't something I would have wanted but yet I can understand how she wanted to pull him in draw him in help him feel connected and supported so I can see that I mean Caitlin has a really good heart so uh, we'll just give that to her three is now being faced with that jewel thief plunger no sorry. <laughs> His name's not Plunger. His name is Plunder. Plunder. I don't think it made a difference if Kid Flash captured Plunder. The point is, he's still going to go to jail. He's still going to be put on trial. He's still going to get a verdict hearing. So I really don't think they made any difference with that headline. That's just me per se, just thinking about that. I really like how Cisco is being nice to HR. I mean, he was, Cisco was being a really big jerk, and I know he was just telling like it is. He just lost his patience, but you know what, Cisco, you've been an ass. Let's just say it. he's been an ass, and he was mean. Cisco's been really mean, so it's nice to see him do something nice for HR and to get that Star Labs up and running, calling the schools. Now, that's better marketing, and <laughs> that's better marketing. So good job, Cisco. It's like, hey, I, you know, I'd like to go there and visit. I think it's good that the writers are going to give us a little bit more background now about H.R. Wells because we, we truly wondered what was his role, what is his true intention, what is he really meant for in this storyline. We all never knew. So it's, it's nice that we're finally at this point in the series um, and in the year that, okay, we're going to start getting some answers and more character development. So I really like that. 
Okay, so my predictions. It's prediction time. Okay, um, so some predictions that I just want to say is I'm going back to the prophecy that Alchemy had, had mentioned previously. No, it wasn't Alchemy, it was Savitar. So Savitar mentioned that prophecy way back when. He said, if I remember correctly, help me out. So forgive me if I don't get it right. Um, so he mentions one will fall, one will betray the group, one will die, one will experience pain worse than death. Um, so what I'm thinking now is I'm actually thinking with Julian being part of the team, I think he's going to betray the group because I think he's going to be repossessed by Savitar. Or I'm thinking it could be Caitlyn. Caitlyn... Well, I don't know. Maybe Caitlyn might fall. Maybe Caitlyn may fall to her... to, to kill a frost. Um, I'm really thinking uh, that that necklace that they made for her or those battery bracelets, I think they're going to malfunction. I know at the, last, at the end of the episode they, they gave her this necklace to like recharge, but I, I honestly think someone's going to pull it off her and, and in one of the episodes and boom, killer her, kill her frost right there. So that, that to me was just an easy thing that they're going to be able to do when she goes into the character. They talked about someone may die. You know what? I really think it's not... It, well, okay, a couple things. It could be Iris and they're just gonna follow through with with that destiny i mean it kind of foretold what the destiny would be but because this is time travel and i've heard this before time travel that they could probably go back and save her or maybe do something but i think in the end she's supposed to die but i think and here's my thought i'm thinking joe may be the one killed um i think that is going to be the person who dies and, and the pain far worse than death. I'm thinking it's all his children who experienced their loss of their father. And, and that's what I'm thinking. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe Kid Flash, Wally, feels this immense amount of guilt that he wasn't able to save his father. Barry wasn't able to save him. Um, that would suck though, right? That would really suck if Joe was, if Joe was no longer going to be part of this show. So I hope I'm wrong, but I'm just thinking, you know, I really don't think Iris is going to die. I think they renew that, and I think the twist is I think Joe's going to die. Like I said, I, I, I hope I'm wrong. Um, I just think I just think that no matter what, even if they try and change these timelines or these headlines, even though they're going to be altered, I still think it's going to lead to the same destination. But the, the person that's going to die is going to be different. I think it's just going to be switched around. But whatever's supposed to happen will happen. But it's going to be with different characters. That's my Flash reaction and review. If you like this, please feel to subscribe to my channel. I also have some other videos that I like to do called Jocelyn's Journey. Um, a little tidbit about myself. So uh, please watch. Thank you so much. And see you next week.